Hi everyone. I'd like to uh, share an experiment here that uh, seems to be uh, quite interesting as far as I'm concerned. And uh, some of you may recognize uh, this uh, toroid uh, coil here, which is one that I had made for uh, my uh, Gobo uh, experiments, which is a attempt replication of the Orbo. And uh, what I've decided to do, uh, by the way, this is the dual coil one where I have uh, five layers of about 24 gauge uh, magnet wire here uh, split in two. So this half here has five layers and this other half has five layers. One is clockwise, the other one is counterclockwise. And I have them bridged. This is what this black wire is. And I'm using it as a full complete coil. Uh, they're not split at this time, uh, so the current is going throughout the whole thing. Now the interesting thing is when I have it hooked up like this, um, and I hook up my inductance meter, uh, the inductance is very high. Uh, I get a reading of about uh, 1,000 uh, millihenries, actually just over 1,000 millihenries. And I find that quite interesting for the amount of wire that I've put into that. So I decided to hook it up to my um, PWM and start pulsing it and start seeing what happens. And the other thing I decided to do is add some uh, neomagnets. Those are half inch by one eighth inch uh, neomagnets and as you can see there are four of them uh, stacked together there. Now the other thing that you see is a small uh, plexiglass uh, sheet there and I've added that to create a space. Uh, or an air gap if you want between the uh, magnets and the toroid and this is exactly at the halfway point between the two uh, sides of the coils here where I seem to be getting a nice effect and as you see there's also some very thin uh, pieces of paper there that I've been doing some fine tuning adding some papers to get me the gap uh, to the uh, best level I can uh, get the effect going uh, so far. Now what I'm using is this uh, 555 circuit uh, which is a P PWM uh, uh, setup using a 555 uh, timer and uh, those kinds of circuits are, are available on the internet. You'd find those easy. Uh, this one here is basically the uh, Rosemary Ainsley uh, circuit board that uh, Grand Loop had uh, designed and uh, freely distributed. Um, so I'm using that to uh, trigger my uh, switch here, which is a uh, MOSFET IRF640, which is a very low uh, gate resistance MOSFET. And uh, I have a 1 ohm resistor here that I have my scope probe across to measure the current going in. And my other scope probe is there uh, to measure just to uh, get the um, 555 uh, pulses of the circuit so to lock in basically on the uh, pulses and those two pots are basically to adjust one is frequency the other one is duty cycle and um, this effect is extremely sensitive to uh, specific frequency and a very specific duty cycle as well both are very important um, that particular probe uh, across the 1 ohm resistor is at uh, times 1 uh, to uh, get a very sensitive uh, measurement. Now this battery here is just powering the uh, 555 uh, timer circuit. And I guess I've covered that end. This is just curled up here uh, just so that you can see the wires not going somewhere else. Uh, here's my positive lead, uh, both uh, my negative lead, which is right back here, feeding to the 1 ohm resistor, and my positive lead uh, come from this uh, 60 microfarad capacitor. It's a big capacitor, it has nothing to do really with the effect, uh, just using that because it's easy to move around uh, and connect to. Uh, it's a 60 microfarad, uh, 346 volt AC capacitor could be any capacitors, uh, has nothing to do with that capacitor. The effect uh, is really this coil and the magnets that are happening. 
So right now I'm using this battery here, which is a uh, AA rechargeable battery. And I've got little magnets there to hold uh, my connections here, which are both feeding that capacitor. So there's my meter. We have 1.28 volts across the, uh, or, you know, on that capacitor. The circuit is functioning at this time. Let me show you the uh, scope shot. So let's look at the data here. We're at 18.8 uh, uh, kilohertz and our duty cycle is about 21.8 percent. And the data there below is basically what's measured across that uh, one ohm resistor and uh, that's what that data is. So here in the green and again is our pulses from the 555 circuit and this is what's measured across the capacitor. Now that probe is set at 50 millivolts uh, sensitivity uh, for the setting on it, on the times one. And if you look, you'll see that it's perfectly flat line. There is no current uh, used at all from our source. These peaks here are basically the uh, noise from the switch coming on and the noise from the switch coming off and there's really no energy there. Uh, so again, you know, there's our pulses, nothing being used. Now, let's go back here. So we're at 1.28 volts, and what I'll do right now is I'll disconnect the battery, which is, you know, feeding the whole circuit, and look what happens. Battery is disconnected, and look at our meter here. The, uh, Oops, sorry, dropped my battery here. Don't need the battery, basically, anyways. Uh, but as you see, it's disconnected right there. And as you see, the circuit is functioning and is uh, sending energy back to the capacitor, keeping it charged and continuing to work. Uh, we have 1.8 volts right now across that capacitor still disconnected okay our terminals and uh, the circuit just keeps working <laughs> uh, I don't understand it uh, but uh, here it is and I've done a lot of testing I've been working on this for over a week and the little bit of time that I've had to try to come and understand if I'm missing something or whatever but I'm not I can't see anything that I've missed uh, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, this seems to be uh, sending more energy than uh, the energy that is being utilized uh, through the coil there. So that's about all I can show you. Well, uh, the other thing I can show you is if I, I can uh, boost that voltage, uh, we're at 18.8 kHz, 21% uh, duty cycle. And now if I reduce the duty cycle, look, the voltage, uh, I can keep boosting it. So I think I can get it somewhere to about uh, 1 point, uh, uh, sorry, 2.5 volts. Oops, the C there, it went backwards. If I reduce it too much, it starts going backwards. Well, let's see to where I can get this up to. So there you go. We're up to uh, 2.4 volts and, and still uh, climbing. There we go. 2.49 volts, 2.5 volts. And all I did is I reduced my duty cycle. And if we look at our data now, shut that light off here. Uh, because the uh, 555 circuit, the way it is, when you change the duty cycle, the frequency also changes with it. We're now at 21 kHz, and the duty cycle is at 11.9%. Uh, and if we look at our pulses here, they've become much uh, smaller there's not as much width and again perfect uh, flat line there is no current being used obviously because there's current going back to that capacitor 
So that's about all I can share for now and uh, post uh, what you believe uh, could be happening here or what I'm missing. Thanks for watching. Bye now.